Hello everyone. Welcome to another video on our KL travel series. We would like to share here our DIY day trip to Putrajaya. Please keep on watching if you want to know how to go to Putrajaya without booking a tour and or if Putrajaya is worth visiting. We started the day with some souvenir shopping at Central Market. We will share in a separate video some recommended items to bring home to family and friends as well as how much we spent on our trip. We then had lunch at Yusuf Dan Sakir. We totally recommend their roti cha nai and chicken murtabak. They're delicious and very affordable. We walk back to our hotel to leave the stuff we bought from the central market, so we don't have to carry them to Putrajaya. That's one advantage of staying in a good location. Now time to go to Putrajaya. There are three transportation options. The fastest but most expensive is via KLIA Transit. It only takes about 20 minutes from KL Central to Putrajaya Central, but it costs 14 ringgit per way. From Putrajaya Central, you may book a grab car to your first destination. Grab fare in Malaysia is pretty cheap. You can buy tickets on site or book online and get 10% discount. You can also use your touch and go card. The second option is via Putrajaya Line, which just started operating in June 2022. It is a lot cheaper than KLIA Transit and has more frequent trips, but the travel time is much longer. The train fare and travel time varies depending on where in KL you will come from. The third one and actually how we traveled to Putrajaya is by bus. It is the cheapest one but the trips are less frequent. The travel time is around 45 minutes. Apart from being the cheapest option we chose it because our first destination is the Pink Mosque and it is one of the bus stops. Just keep track of the stops on Google Maps to make sure you don't miss it. The bus terminal is walkable from our hotel, so it was also convenient. It is located right across the Maidin Mall. Please note the terminal is different from the one right in front of the mall. Seeing this tarp on the wall confirms you're at the right terminal. Please note that the bus may not be on time, or they may skip trips for some reason. The payment is collected before getting on the bus. Then you can sit anywhere. The bus ride, seat space and comfort, cleanliness and air conditioning were commendable. Before you reach your destination, just press the button to signal the driver you're getting off at the next stop. The trip was pretty fast. We don't know if the traffic flow is really like that or because it was a holiday when we went there. The rain was pouring hard when we got off the bus. It often rains in Malaysia in the afternoon, so best to always carry an umbrella. Once you reach Putrajaya, there are three options to transfer from one spot to another. The cheapest transportation mode in Putrajaya is by bus, but it may take some time before the next bus arrives, and there's no telling if the bus is late or you already missed it. The second and most interesting option, in our opinion, is the newly launched water taxi. Taking it from end to end is a good sightseeing opportunity and much cheaper than the popular sightseeing cruise provided by the same company either by the day pass which provides unlimited rides or pay each ride with a TNG card. We were supposed to take an end-to-end -end trip for some sightseeing and get off at Anjung Floria and walk to the Iron Mosque. Unfortunately, it doesn't operate on holidays. The third and best way to explore Putrajaya is by Grab. It was very convenient. We were able to go to places at our own pace and it's a lot cheaper than booking a tour. Join us as we share our day in Putrajaya.
The seats were comfortable, and we arrived in KL in no time. So, is Putrajaya worth visiting? Oh, absolutely. The architecture is nice, and the surroundings are relaxing, and we totally recommend that you do a DIY trip. It's very easy to do, and you can explore places at your own pace. The best part is that it's a lot cheaper than booking a tour. We hope we're able to give some helpful tips for your next trip. Till the next one. Thanks for watching.